New details in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. An internal, internal police report shows a startling amount of illegal drugs were being stored without proper documentation in the desk of a Fall River detective. As we first reported last week, that detective has been placed on a month long unpaid suspension and is being moved out of the narcotics unit. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi is here now with the exclusive details. Well, this 40 page internal affairs report obtained today by Target 12 reveals the drugs were often being stored in unlocked safes in and around Detective Joshua Robillard's desk. The numbers are striking in just one of the safes. Investigators found 129 bags of heroin with more bags discovered elsewhere. Other drugs they found included marijuana, cocaine, crack cocaine and oxycodone. The report also says they discovered enough fentanyl quote to kill nearly 2000 individuals. My colleague Tim White spoke to Fall River Police Chief Jeffrey Cardoza about the investigation last week. When you learned about this mishandling of evidence, as the outcome was, what was your reaction? Very disappointed. Uh, obviously, uh, the quantity uh, was concerning to me, and 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 uh, it just uh, it appears to be extremely lazy police work. We're not talking about one small bag. We're talking about multiple multiple packages. And the Bristol County District Attorney's Office reviewed the case and determined Robillard would not face criminal charges, though, as we said, he was disciplined by the department. Robillard's attorney told Target 12 last week his client took responsibility for how the drugs were stored, calling it, quote, a minor administrative violation. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, 12 News.